given what's happening in the hospitals in Ireland right now, I assume it's it's probably similarly happening across the world where a lot of other illnesses, let's say, are being put to the side uh, while while hospitals are overrun with uh, COVID patients. So does does that mean that your company then is in an even better position for the other products that you look after because of that demand on the rest of the health sector? Uh, Yes, with a with a kind of a major caveat that you know when the you know if we kind of think of trying to sell to hospitals when they have that surge, it's all hands on deck in, in the hospital. Yeah. So you know trying to get the attention, say, of a respiratory doctor to think about how they reconfigure care when they're dealing with with kind of nothing but COVID patients who are really really sick, that's really difficult. But I suppose. Um, you know, kind of where we were um, had a you know success with that kind of in in 2020 was kind of in between the waves when people kind of had a a little bit of breathing space to kind of think about kind of how they were going to to reconfigure care, how they were going to restart services for those chronic disease patients. Um, but you know, luckily in Ireland for patients that are managed under those solutions today. Um, you know that that you know there's there's cystic fibrosis patients there's pulmonary fibrosis patients in Ireland they're having virtual consultations with their their physician and it's not just a, a conversation like this the physician has objective data to assess yeah. their their health um so that's that's really great to see that you know kind of you know those things we've been working on are, are delivering kind of real value for those patients so it's not just the the covid patients that are they're benefiting from our solutions at the moment 